everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today we're going to build a CRJ on scale 144 from Welch model. So this is a kit for experienced modeler. It's a kit in resin. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So the kit is composed of a few parts. We have initially the resin, there is a very tiny engravement for the panel lines, but very basic. Uh, we can see here that we have a couple of uh, issues on the fuselage, but we're going to have to uh, fill this up with uh, some putty. And we have to adjust the nose, the nose cone, and the nose cone is in white metal to balance the bit. And this is the nose cone. As you can see, it's a very small part, and we're going to have to put it here. Now, the wings is in one part. Uh, we'll have to do some adjustment here. Uh, it comes with a wings fairing attached as well, which is, not, uh, which is also a plus. And then we have both engines in resin, so you can see that you have all the fan disc, but uh, the pipe is filled up so we're gonna have to uh, clear this and uh, the same for the second one as you can see and we're gonna have to work this out uh, there will be a little bit of uh, extra work on this then we have the horizontal stabilizer as you can see it's a tiny part and uh, but nothing too, too difficult about that small adjustment maybe and uh, that's about it. Then uh, we're gonna move to the winglets and uh, we have some white metal parts and the white metal part are for the uh, gear door and the carriage, the main landing gear and of course the nose landing gear. So you can see that the nose landing gear and the wheels are in, in one part and those winglets. So I'll give you a, a different shot. So this is the white part basically. So here you have the nose landing gear with the wheels, uh, the four main wheels with the two landing struts, main landing gear, uh, the gear doors and the winglets. So now we're gonna move to the instruction sheet. As you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward, there is only one sheet, it's just about the decals and you'll have basically some instructions uh, but the instructions basically are just written so you have the all kit description and this comes with the options of uh, two colors you have the options of uh, Air France and United Express so um, both of those are produced by Welsh model and, uh, that's conclude our kit review for the CRJ on a scale 144. So enough of talking and let's start building. So we're gonna start our build by preparing our parts. And for this, uh, there will be some, uh, there was some uh, issue during the mold. So we have to remove the uh, extra resin. So for this, it's not a big deal. Just use a, a sharp knife to remove all the extra. Then we're gonna glue the ballast, uh, which is the nose of the aircraft. But for this model, we'll not use regular glue, I will only use super glue, as the regular plastic glue doesn't work. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start to prepare the wheel well on the, under the wings and also uh, the exhaust of those uh, CF-34. For that, uh, I use a hand drill and I use a different, uh, different diameters uh, driller. And then what I did, I finished it with a very sharp knife uh, to get to the proper uh, dimension. As I didn't have uh, on my traveling kits, I didn't have uh, a big enough uh, driller. But uh, all went uh, very well, and uh, there was not uh, any major issue uh, on that part. The next step is to fill up all the gaps with uh, Tamiya, and for this I use uh, a great Tamiya putty, which uh, stick pretty well to the to the model. So we had some uh, molding issue on the bottom of the fuselage. That's why I only use that part. 
then what we will do is we will glue uh, our winglets to the wings and then of course that take a little bit of fiddling and uh, adjustment. After sanding initially the, the fuselage, what we will do is uh, to uh, add the uh, CF-34, those engines, to the fuselage and for this still using uh, any uh, super glue. After that we will fill all the gaps on the winglets and on the engines with some uh, white stamina putty and what we will do is uh, they will, we will do a second layer under the, the, on the belly of the aircraft as there were still some, uh, some marks. We will now uh, glue the, the wings under the fuselage and join the, the, uh, the final build, basically final installation of the build on the, on the aircraft. Then of course when the super glue has dried we will uh, fill all the gaps with Stamia Buddy. And uh, to make sure that uh, we'll, uh, we'll dry out we will let it cure and then of course we will remove all the extra putty on the model. I have to say that uh, we, it's of course, now time and it's a little bit time consuming of re removing all that uh, extra putty. Uh, it's always uh, a time consuming part of the of building those models. But uh, on that aircraft, I have to say that it went pretty easy. There were not too many gaps. So uh, I was quite happy about uh, the end result. And uh, so we're gonna finish to remove all this and then we're gonna start working on the, on the tail. Uh, I didn't glue the tail before because I was uh, on a trip so I, I had to wait a little bit because this is quite a, a fragile part. So the tail uh, or the horizontal stab require a little bit of a fiddling and the adjustment so I had to do a little bit of work on that and then of course after that we glue them and we're gonna add the putty on the, to fill the gaps and of course we're gonna sand it down. So once we finish uh, preparing the build, now we're going to be able to start the painting. So it's time for the paint booth. So initially I use a dark grey to cover the engine fan. Uh, then of course I protect those parts and then we did the leading edge of the model. Leading edge, engine anti-ice, uh, the stabilizer of course and the, the jet uh, exhaust as well. Then we're going to cover this with uh, a two-step uh, layer basically of uh, white paint. For this I use a glossy white from Tamiya and as you can see I did uh, the first part then I had to let it dry basically on the on its wing and then after her curing of a couple of days because I regularly have that issues and if I have a, a single color for an aircraft I have to do it in a couple of phases because the time that the, the white paint cure will take a couple of days and if you hold it for too long, you will have marks, uh, fingerprint marks uh, on, the, on the paint. So to avoid that, I always do a two-step uh, or even sometimes a three-step uh, paint job and a layer. So we're now working on the final stage of that build. We're going to start decaling. So I'm going to make an Aeromar uh, livery, which I, I really like. It's very nice, very slick. Um, this is a, a Mexican commuter and uh, I got those decals from pointer dog decals. I have to say the decals are a little bit thick but very easy to work on on this little model uh, and uh, I was pretty happy of the, the, the end result. So uh, sometimes when you get small models it's, it's even easier to have these type of decals.
And this is the final result, the end result of that uh, CRJ200 from my Omar. I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you soon for another uh, build review. Thank you for watching.